April, the U.S. real estate market in 2019 was worth $34 trillion, with $1.5 trillion being currently on the market. And in 1981, 22% of home buyers read newspaper ads to look for housing information, and 8% used family or friends. In 2019, over 90% of real estate firms have websites that have property listings, and millennials, in this case, are more likely to use the internet than baby boomer. Overall, technology has both positive and negative effects on the real estate market, and this presentation will explore both sides. I divided my product up into two sections, pro-technology and anti-technology. The pro-technology side will have um, point, um, three main parts, the internet, other technology and smart homes, and the anti-technology side will have inter uh, two parts, internet and um, amenities and technology. So pro-technology part one, the internet. 43% of buyers start looking on the internet. 92% of buyers eventually use the internet to look at houses. As you can see on the graph, 47% of Generation X buyers use the internet, while 98% of, of millennial clients use the internet. All parties, buyers, sellers, and realtors use the cloud to store or send data, which makes the home buying and selling process easier and faster. Websites that list properties and are easy to navigate can easily be reached by masses. And usually buyers have an average of 10 homes they're interested within 10 weeks. And this is much easier to do now due to the internet. Real estate firms that keep their websites up to date um, make the process easier for their clients. And brokers are um, more experienced realtors who use or have refined searches on their websites increase the efficiency greatly. And in my research, I found out that most firms web Advertising and marketing is easier and more efficient for realtors. Social media was listed as the best tool by brokers for finding leads about homes for sale. 91% of realtors use social media, and as you can see on the graph, in 2018, 87% of buyers used agents, while in 2001, only 69% of buyers used agents. Before social media, a majority of agents were found by uh, friends or family of the client, and this um, limited the number of agents used. And 97% um, of realtors used Facebook, and 59% used LinkedIn to try to communicate or, um, yeah. 26% of firms use social media to promote listings, and 25% of brokers use social media to build relationships with clients. And I learned that um, young realtors use or plan on using blogs in the future to, as another way to try to communicate with their clients. And in this current situation we are in, brokers are still able to sell due to online meetings. So instead of just meeting face-to-face, -face, um, brokers and clients are just doing online meetings on Zoom or Google Meet to talk about um, what homes they're interested in or to negotiate and informational videos help brokers sell, and um, now you can easily find agents online. Electronic signatures make the buying and selling process easier, and with machine learning and ROI calculations, brokers can get an accurate price on how much property is worth, leading to smarter investments. ROI stands for return on investment, and with ROI calculators, brokers can find out their commission. Buying and selling in remote places is much easier online. And 56% of clients state that finding the right property is the hardest step. And 20% of clients say that doing the paperwork is the hardest step. And you can see the graph on the right shows um, the, how clients proceed, um, the hardest step clients say in the, in the home buying or selling process. And um, this number is going down for paperwork because a lot of paperwork is now going online, making the process easier. And 89% of um, buyers use an agent and um, younger clients are more likely to use agents than um, older clients. 
now I begin my second part for my pro technology side, which is smartphones and other technologies. It is the easiest of all time for clients and agents to communicate. Telephones are the most used technology to communicate with clients. And in my research, I found out that 93% of agents use a telephone to communicate with their clients. And 38% of clients were notified of news by the realtor on a phone. And younger clients found their homes on a mobile device more than older clients. Three technologies that firm, firms think are the most important is computers, email, and smartphones. At least 90% of realtors use their email, computer, or smartphone every day for work. And I, through research, I found out that 46% of clients consider an agent skill with technology an important trait. Only 27% of realtors still use postal mail to communicate with their clients, and 85% of realtors use texting to quickly communicate with their clients. Realtors and firms are now using drones to get an overhead view of properties, and I was able to find out that 29% of firms use a professional to operate a drone, while 21% of firms have someone in the office to operate a drone and 14% of firms plan on using drones in the future. And 3D tours of houses are now easily available to buyers. Virtual reality helps buyers see what a property will look like if they can't take a look in real life. And new technology reduces the amount of office space firms need. I've been most, most of my research was focused on um, residential and most of my research focused on re the residential side of technology, but a commercial example is Aetna was able to downsize by 2 million square feet due to slimmer technology that, um, that was um, founded. Now I begin my third part of my pro technology side, amenities and smart homes. 3% of clients look to buy smart homes and um, the smart homes boost value between 3 and 5%. 81% of smart home owners would consider buying another smart home and smart technology and homes raise prices. Smart homes are basically homes that have built-in technology where on your phone, you're able to control the temperature, you're able to have security, you're able to unlock your doors, um, control the TV, turn on the lights and et cetera. Um, reasons clients buy new homes is um, because amenities, energy conservation, and environmental reasons. 13% um, of clients buy new homes, and these new homes are likely to have smart technology or amenities in them. And 21% um, of clients look for, home, look for homes because of new amenities, and 10% of clients look to, um, to buy new homes for clean energy. Now I would begin. Now I begin my anti-technology side. Part one: the internet. Clients are seeing bloated home prices due to algorithms. Algorithms can be skewed because of areas or locations. Clients then have unrealistic prices and aren't willing to negotiate. An example of this is if a property is close to a lake, but they don't actually own the property. Um, the location would um, raise the price because it says that it's close to a lake, but in actuality, it's not. So the client would have an unrealistic number. Um, brokers and firms that don't update their website or mobile presence can struggle to find clients or customers. And these website updates are very costly, which might scare some firms. And smaller or independent realtors don't have the same resources as larger firms to maintain online presence. So a lot of large firms are able to dominate um, online while smaller firms are kind of choking on the dust. 40% of all firms, commercial and resi residential, think that technology would be a challenge in the future. And some brokers are now focusing on technology more than their clients, such as realtors preferring predictive analysis over better customer relations. And realtors connect better with their clients face-to-face -face rather than online. And by seeing their client in person, realtors can help them find more homes or assist them better. And um, in my research, I found out that making appointments online can take multiple days, while face-to-face um, -face appointments can tour homes faster and probably make the appointments faster. And physically touring a house, um, 
is more credible than viewing online because you're able to see where a certain place um, you're able to feel out the house instead of just seeing it online. And realtors don't like Zillow because it advertises multiple brokers and their house estimates are sometimes off. Um, Zillow is an online um, website or app that has that list properties that is mainly used and is the most used for online um, real estate. Trying to convert clients from selling online and getting professional help is very difficult. And I, um, in my research, I found out that electronic signatures could be forged by hackers, and this could cause the clients to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars. And on top of that, upgrading a mobile presence could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to fur firms. And finally, um, um, older clients wouldn't necessarily look for new amenities or homes and their new amenities or technology in their homes. Um, first time buyers value the first time buyers value the um, hold on, give me a second. Um, getting accustomed to smart homes might be difficult or confusing to people who didn't own them before. And first time buyers value their relationship in person versus online with their realtors. And many families feel that smart homes are expensive to maintain and too confusing for them. And some firms have old computers or hardware making the process slower than it has to be. Does anyone have any questions? Nice job, Morgan. Were you, were your results what you expected? Was there anything that surprised you from the there beginning? Were few, there were a few surprises. I would have thought that um, realtors would have really liked Zillow because it um, kind of allowed the client to see what houses are in the area and, um, mm -hmm. and it would allow, um, and it would cut down the process. But I kind but um, when I talked to my mentor, I realized that, um, I realized that Zillow would focus more on larger brands that would pay more money to advertise on their website. And um, like I was talking about the algorithms, it would give that idea to clients that their property was worth more than it actually was. Yeah, I was really surprised by Zillow as well because I know that that's something that thousands, millions of people use in terms of real estate. So that's an interesting thought that you know, if I ever look for a house, I may, may not be really looking at Zillow anymore. And it sounds like there may be some technology glitches there too that you mentioned. Um, so that piece was really interesting. Um, you mentioned a little bit about, um, I know we have some questions popping in and I'll read those aloud for those of you who are um, commenting and asking questions. Do you think that you mentioned something about kind of technology and social media? And I thought it was really interesting how social media is really strongly used in terms of finding houses and real estate. Do you think that in any way that could be hurting realtors and real estate jobs possibly? I feel like, um, like I was mentioning earlier, larger firms have a larger budget and more resources to mm -hmm. um, advertise online. Um, and this could cause some smaller firms that might not, that might not have the resources or money to really go online or even advertise that could leave them struggling to find clients because people would mostly go online to just find their realtors or find firms there instead of going instead of going face to face or going locally yeah that no that makes a lot of sense uh, for those of you who are tuning in i see a few people are um listing some questions and comments for those of you who want to ask questions or comments you could use the chat feature at the bottom of your zoom screen um, we have one question here. Would you buy a house online without a realtor? Um, you possibly can. Some people are putting their houses on eBay. I personally wouldn't due to some, um, due to, due to, I would like to, um, I'd like to, I would like some help because I'm not a master in all the, I'm not a master in all the um, certain skills or I'm not aware of all the certain um, background information that I would need to know. So I'd, personally, I would like to um, have an agent I would not buy directly online. Valid point. 
Um, this question is, who was your mentor and what did they do? Uh, my mentor was Nikki Trevor Galino and she was a local realtor and she helped um, she helped me um, get like an inside view because a lot of the articles I was reading and a lot of the resources I had they mostly focused on the larger firms but she kind of put in aspect some of the smaller firms and some of the issues that certain um, that certain technologies had or certain um, issues that they were having such as Zillow like I wasn't aware that Zillow was such a problem with them mm -hmm. um, and then she opened my eyes to um, how Zillow could actually hurt them hurt um, the real estate market instead of um, helping them awesome and Nikki is on the call here and she made a um, comment well done a lot of research went into this presentation and I think we, we can all echo that comment that it's very clear that you covered many different aspects of real estate, things that we wouldn't even think about. Um, so I'm really impressed. You did a great job tonight, Morgan. Thank you very much. And thank you for everyone for listening. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to move you back to the attendees.